Madam President. The Senator from North Dakota is recognized. Thank you, and I thank Chairman Inhofe for his leadership and his eloquence. And I, Madam President, rise today in defense of the heroes on the thin blue line and in opposition to the amendment number 2252 to the National Defense Authorization Act, which Chairman Inhofe just spoke to. You know, over the past few months, America has watched as we've seen a rise in civil unrest turn to violence in cities all across our country. Anarchists and domestic terrorists have exploited the peaceful protests of millions of well-intentioned Americans in order to conflict chaos and instill fear in our communities. Standing on the front lines as a shield from absolute anarchy are our local law enforcement officers, who by and large have deployed the force required, the appropriate pro uh, force required to protect American families as well as First Amendment rights. Unfortunately, some have made the political calculation that they would benefit more from chaos than from peace. They believe defunding and abolishing police departments and restricting their access to protective gear is politically better than an honest look at what our justice system really needs to succeed. Madam President, the 1033 program has been utilized for years to provide state and local law enforcement with valuable tools already purchased by the federal government to promote public safety. It would be the epitome of ways to gut this program and let these valuable tools rust in a pile or a closet someplace. As the chairman said, the police and sheriff's associations oppose amendment number 2252 and for good reason. Patrick Yoz of the Federal Order of Police says, quote, it is important for senators to understand that equipment received through the 1033 program is demilitarized and repurposed for public safety use. Simply because a piece of equipment was originally purchased with our tax dollars by the Department of Defense does not make it military equipment. A tool is defined by its use. The equipment is used to defend and protect officers and civilians from threats and to carry out law enforcement and public safety objectives, end of quote. It is stunning to me, Madam President, that my colleagues, some of my colleagues, uh, are more appalled at where law enforcement gets some of their tools and their equipment than they are at the violence which our police officers have to endure every day. The amendment offered today would bury law enforcement, especially those from poor communities, in unnecessary bureaucracy, effectively preventing them from procuring the equipment needed to keep our communities and its citizens safe. It's an unworkable messaging ploy born out of Democrats' belief that vilifying the police will somehow help them win the election in November. Thankfully, there's an alternative, an, an amendment number 2411 offered by the chairman from Oklahoma. It's a thoughtful, common sense approach with a focus on training, prevention, and de-escalation. It puts the right equipment in the right hands and places common sense restrictions on what transfers can occur, all while saving the taxpayers money. I urge my colleagues to support amendment number 2411 and call on the members of this body to reject any attempts to prevent these brave men and women from doing their job to safely secure our communities. I yield back.